Wow, look at this, you guys. Completed another completed meal prep for the week. So you got your fettuccine noodle, sweet and sour eggplant, you got your roasted red potatoes and veggies, and you have your creamy mushroom risotto with cilantro. And check out my new lids, you guys. I just got these on Amazon for a 26 pack for about 12 bucks. And the dishwasher safe. They're, they're just made of plastic, but they'll never rust like the other ones, the metal ones. You'll never have to worry about that. So check out all the rainbow colors we got going on. Nutritious, healthy, whole plant-based meatful food. Ready for you to go, ready to eat. And let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. I will also write the recipe down in my blog. And so you guys, if you miss anything in the video, you can check out check it down below. Okay guys, make sure you like this video, share it with family and friends, and hit the subscribe button. Welcome back to my channel, Plenty of Goodness. Today we're going to do a creamy mushroom rice risotto. <clears throat> and these are the ingredients you'll need. So my rice is already done, I did it in the rice cooker. Um, and then we're going to have uh, two, two packs of the organic black beans. And I couldn't find organic cilantro, but that's okay, they're, they're micro, so they're really super packed with nutrients. Um, again, I couldn't find the crushed tomatoes, um, so I just went with the Sprouts brand. And then organic baby bella mushrooms and the garden veggie boyan cubes and veganese. So let's get started. The rice is already made and you want to do cook the rice either the night before or the morning of before you prep this. So that way it stays nice and fresh. Alright guys, let's get to the chopping of the veggies. Okay, next step you're gonna bring one fourth or actually half a cup of water to a boil in the saucepan and then you're gonna add the beans and then you're gonna turn it to medium heat for about three to four minutes. And I just added salt, pink salt, and a little bit of turmeric just for added flavor. You don't have to, but I think it will blend really well with the mushroom and the creaminess and the cilantro as well. So next step, you want to saute the mushrooms. Make sure you rinse them beforehand. And just add a little pink salt on high heat only for a few minutes. And then next we're going to just warm up the canned tomatoes and then we're going to transfer everything to the jar. Okay, so next you're going to want to put the crushed canned tomatoes on high heat just to kind of ward off some of the liquid. And then once it starts boiling, then you're going to simmer it only for a very few minutes. And then we're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then transfer everything to the jars. And then you can add cilantro on top. All right, so there you have it. You have your creamy mushroom rice risotto. You don't have to mix the jars, but you can. But look at the presentation, how beautiful. And make sure you wash the cilantro beforehand. It's not pre-washed for you. Look how beautiful it is. Very rich in nutrients, macros and micros, and super, super healthy for you. It's going to fill you up and satisfy you and last hours throughout the day before you're even hungry again. Okay, on to meal prep two. Okay, meal prep number two is going to be roasted red potatoes and veggies. This one is super packed with a lot of veggies, so we're going to... Everything is going to be done in the oven, which is nice. So I've just got a different taste, different flair. Um, so we're going to go with two of the organic tomatoes, bell pepper, two, um, I couldn't find zucchini, so squash, same family. Two of the squash, one sweet or yellow onion, I couldn't find organic eggplants not in season, so one large eggplant, uh, usually about five medium to large potatoes, and the vegan shredded mozzarella, follow your heart cheese. You can add cheese if you want. Um, I'm going to just to give it extra flair, extra flavor. And then we got our organic white balsamic vinegar and some thyme just for added seasoning. So first let's cut the veggies, wash them and cut them and let's get started. Alright guys, so after you wash and cut all the veggies, which usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes depending on how fast you are to prep your veggies. So you're going to cut the potatoes into one inch thick slices. First you're going to cut the potato in half, then you're going to cut it lengthwise, and then you're going to cut it into quarters like this. 
Um, what I did was toss it with a little bit of vegan butter and some pink salt. And I threw some onion in there for extra flavor. Now for the veggies, you're going to cut the eggplant. The eggplant has to be about one inch thick, only because you don't want it to be mushy um, in the oven. So you're going to cut it, cut it one inch thick slices and then cut it lengthwise and, and thirds. And then the tomatoes, uh, do a little bit chunky, cut them chunky style. And then the squash, you're going to cut lengthwise and then they're going to um, look like boats like this. So cut them lengthwise and cut them into thirds. And bell pepper, uh, keep those a little bit chunky as well. And the onion, you're going to cut it in half. And then you're going to cut it lengthwise as well. So you get more of like a C shape. Okay, so then I did uh, season it with pink salt and thyme. I didn't put vegan butter in the veggies. Um, I don't feel like they need to because the tomatoes, it's going to be too watery. So right now we're going to throw them in the oven, roast them at 400 degrees for t first 20 minutes and then first 20 minutes then we're going to mix the potatoes and mix the veggies and then roast them for another 20 and then we're going to check them okay so after the first 40 minutes that you roast the potatoes and the veggies you're going to turn down the heat to 300 degrees and then you're going to uh, roast them for another 10 to 20 minutes and Check them, pierce them with a fork, make sure they're not mushy, and use your best judgment. So let's put them in the oven. All right, so you have your red, roasted red potatoes and veggies. Look how beautiful that looks. All the rainbow colors, that's what you need in your diet. Not brown, or fried, or breaded. Whole plant-based foods that's gonna give you energy, essential vitamins, minerals. meal prep three. All right, our third meal prep is gonna be fettuccine noodle with sweet and sour eggplant. So we got your, these are my favorite brown rice pasta fettuccine noodles. Uh, we have some roasted salted cashews. I like to do the salted ones just to add more flavor, bring out the flavors. Sweet peas to kind of counterbalance the sweet and sour sauce. And we got uh, yellow onion. And this is already prepared grilled eggplant. You can buy this pretty much anywhere, any whole food store. And then some pink salt. And we're going to wash the, wash the veggies and cook the pasta. And while my potatoes and veggies are cooking, we're going to multitask with this meal. All right, let's get started. Okay, next up you're gonna boil, bring water to a boil, and you're gonna throw in the two packages of the fettuccine noodle. And you're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes. And then after it's done, you don't wanna overcook it. It says 10 to 11 minutes, but I do 10 minutes. And then drain and rinse in cold water. <clears throat> and you wanna kind of mix it with the fork so it doesn't, so the noodles don't stick together. Um, that is very common with fettuccine noodles. So we'll, after it's done cooking, we'll drain and then rinse with cold water and then transfer to the jars. So while the pasta is cooking, you want to cut the onion in half and then cut it lengthwise, just like we did for the meal prep too. So they come out like this. Chop that up and then we're going to saute it for about a couple minutes on high heat. Add some vegan butter and then towards the end we're going to add the grilled eggplant that together. Okay, I'm sauteing the onion on high heat for a couple minutes so it gets a little bit brown like that. And then we're going to throw in the eggplant. And we don't want to overcook it. We want it a little bit al dente. And then next up we'll cook the peas. Okay, next you're going to add one fourth cup water to a boil. Then you're going to add the peas. And then you're going to simmer it and cover it up to six minutes. These are already kind of pre-thawed out, so it's probably, it probably would take a little bit less than six minutes. And we're gonna cover it, and then we're gonna transfer it to the jars. And now you have your fettuccine noodle with sweet and sour eggplant. All I did was throw the crushed cashews on top, 
And like I said, you don't have to mix the jars. But I just love the presentation. That's just and I just poured everything evenly into the jars. The sweet and sour sauce, and the peas, and the cashews on top. Wow, look at this, you guys. Completed another completed meal prep for the week. So you got your fettuccine noodle, sweet and sour eggplant, you got your roasted red potatoes and veggies, and you have your creamy mushroom risotto with cilantro. And check out my new lids, you guys. I just got these on Amazon for a 26 pack for about 12 bucks. And the dishwasher safe. They're, they're just made of plastic, but they'll never rust like the other ones, the metal ones. You'll never have to worry about that. So check out all the rainbow colors I got going on. Nutritious, healthy, whole plant-based weekly food. Ready for you to go, ready to eat. And let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. I will also write the recipe down in my blog. And so you guys, if you miss anything in the video, you can check it out. Check it it down below. Okay guys, make sure you like this video, share it with family and friends, and hit the subscribe button for future videos just like this. Stay tuned guys. See you next time.